Hi, I'm Mark from Penguin Digital, and I'm bringing you this video in partnership with CodeCourse. In this video, we're going to be looking at organizing our routes better in a larger application by giving them dedicated route files. So I've just copied this root group here as an example from another one of my projects. And you can see here, we have a root group and it's doing a couple of things. It's giving it a prefix, it's applying some middleware, and it's also giving it a name prefix. And then inside of there, it just has one simple root resource. Now that's absolutely fine for a smaller scale application, but imagine as this application grows and you start adding more routes to this, your web.php root file is going to get rather large. Now add on top of this, as the application grows, you might have a separate dashboard for suppliers. You might have a separate section for wholesalers. And then you might give your customers a dedicated dashboard. Then all of these are going to have their own root groups. And then inside them root groups, there's going to be a load of roots. And this file just becomes really big and it comes unmaintainable. So let's look at how we can actually create a dedicated root file for each of these sections. So if you come over to the root of your project and come under app and then providers and then open up root service provider. Now, if you scroll down to the boot method, you can see here, this is where Laravel is loading in the default root files of API and web. So we can actually just copy this functionality and create our own root files. And as you can see here for API and web, you can use any of the root methods that you use in your root files and apply them here at the service provider level. So that means then you're not having to create your groups in each of the individual files. You can actually manage everything all in this one place. So for this roots inside of the closure, let's just add another one on here for our admin roots. I'm just coming down here and calling the root facade and I'm going to give this a prefix because I'm going to match what we've got currently in the web.php file and I'm giving everything a prefix of admin and then we're going to apply the middleware. So this application doesn't actually have the middleware in it. Like I said, that root group has been copied from another project, but I'm just going to show you how to apply it anyway. Uh, so you'd put them in here. So I've got auth in there, got an auth is admin middleware. And finally, I have the verified middleware on there. So now this middleware will apply to everything inside of this new root file that we're creating. We need to give this root file a namespace, and this is the namespace of the control word. And you can see here in the other examples, this is pointing to this namespace. So this is referencing the default Laravel setup. So if you actually just scroll up this file, you can see here there's a protected property called namespace, and this is commented out at the moment, and it uses app HTTP controllers, and it's currently getting this from the parent service provider class. But if you wanted to namespace your controllers onto something else, then you'd simply comment this out and then apply it there. But for now, we're just going to go on with that convention. And we're going to just say all of the controllers inside of here are going to be namespaced under the default namespace. And then one final thing we need to add to this is the name prefix. So we'll just come down here and we're going to say name. And this was prefixed with admin dot. Now, as you can see, the name method isn't called on these two routes here. But there's nothing stopping us from adding it in here and anything else you can add to a individual root or a root group you can add at the service provider level so then finally let's just close this off with group and as above we're just going to copy laravel's convention here and we're giving it a base path and we're going to put ours also inside of the roots folder and we're going to call this admin.php now you can put these wherever you want you can put them into another subfolder inside of roots if you want I'll leave that decision up to you. Whatever way you think is best to organize your application, especially the application comes really large with thousands of routes, you might want to start then adding subfolders inside of this roots file. Now we have that, we actually just need to make that admin.php file. We open our project. If we come down to roots, I'm just going to create a new PHP file here and I'm calling this admin.php. And then inside of here, we just need to bring in our root facade. So that is use illuminate support facades roots. And then finally, we can just copy over the root from inside of the admin group. So back over in web, we can see here we have our root resource of users here. So I'm just going to cut that out. And then we can actually just delete this group here now because we don't actually need it. Now it's got a dedicated root file. And then inside of here, let's just paste this in. Now, like I said, I've actually just copied this route from another project. So I don't actually have a user control here. So 
a control I do have in this test project is email. I'm just going to switch that out to email. And then obviously we need to bring that in at the top of our file. Now let's just run our artisan root list, php artisan root colon list. And as you can see, this is listed out all of our routes for our application. And you can see here in the URI section, we're having the prefix of admin. You can see here in the name section, we're having the prefix of admin dot. If I just scroll this along into view, you can see now for each of them admin routes, our middleware of auth, auth is admin and verified is now being applied to all of our admin routes. Now, as you can see in the admin.php root file, this makes it super clean and you instantly see all of the routes that are going to apply to the admin section of your website. And back over in your web routes, you would no longer have these sections. So your web routes file has been completely cleaned up and then everything is grouped together in logical root files. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in some more Laravel related content, don't forget to check out the cocourse.com website. Also, I have my own YouTube channel over at Penguin Digital where I have a lot of Laravel content and the links to those will be in the description.